Good day, everyone, and welcome to another tutorial. Today, we will be talking about how to upload 3D side by side videos to YouTube in a functional way. So, first of all, we need a video. So, I'm going to be using a very short um, segment from Exodus that I actually finished this week um, on a low resolution, of course, so that we don't waste each other's time. <laughs> so, I'm going to add it. So there he is. As you can see, it's already side by side. It's already been rendered in 3D and boo, strikes the water, turns to blood. Mm -mm -mm. Very cool. So basically this is for Exodus. You can find more info about that project um, in the description as well. Anyway, getting back on point, we need to get this moving. So what we need to do is we need to upload 3D content that is not yet 3D to YouTube. In other words, you're going to give YouTube all the information it needs to display it as 3D content. Um, so YouTube does the, the anaglyph or the shadow glasses or the, um, you know, it, it, it handles that stuff. You just give it the, the, the two frames that it needs or the 360 or whatever else. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rendering this out as a Matroska video. The, the H.264 one tends to increase your file size a little bit for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not going to go for that. Um, so I'm going to select, um, at least in, uh, 2.77, this is what you do. You would select, um, H.264. But in the newer version of Blender 2.79, you would go for FFmpeg video. So just a heads up. So I'm going to go for H.264 and I'm going to be selecting Matroska. And of course, of course, I'm sticking with H.264. Let's keep it 6,000. Yeah, I think that'll look fine. Just want to prove to you guys that it does copy audio. We're going for that very familiar opening. You can just hear it now. Isn't that just the most amazing song you have ever heard? Anyway, so I'm going to save this as, uh, let's say, Moses upload dot MKV. And I want this file saved um, where the blend file is just for the sake of uh, knowing where it's at. So I'm going to save the blend file first. There we go. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's make sure it goes to the sequencer. I don't see anything off. Everything looks good. Remember, this is just the same as putting out a, a 2D video uh, with the best quality that you can possibly manage in terms of file size, upload, etc. Because you're essentially giving YouTube a 2D video with information telling it how to process it as a 3D one. So, um, yeah, uh, that's fine. I'm going to keep it at 50% HD and we're good. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Now what we need to do is we need to download FFmpeg. Okay, so here I have FFmpeg already downloaded like a few times. So what I'm going to be using is the 3.3.3 version, 32-bit uh, and static linked, because it um, in the static version, everything has its separate um, EXE. I, I just find that it works. It's the one I started with, it's the one I went for. It's the one I recommend. So when unzipped, go into that folder. And of course you find bin doc licenses, presets and readme, go into the bin folder. And this is where you're gonna put your file to be converted. The reason I say put it in the unzipped MPEG, FFmpeg folder is because then you don't have to specify paths. So I recommend that you drag and drop it to this folder do the conversion, delete the older one, and upload the new one, and move it back to wherever it needs to be after the upload is finished. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be deleting all these input files so that I only have, and, and the output files as well, so that I only have the final example file. And of course, I have a TXT over here that you will not find in your folder, which contains the correct code. On the YouTube help page, it gives you the, the option to use a, a metadata injector, which is um, pretty much only good for um, VR and 360, and of course, um, stereoscopic top and bottom. 
but um, we're not interested in that. We want to upload a side by side video right now. <laughs> That's why I'm making this video because there's no help for that. Um, at least not easily findable. And because the code is wrong, it, it doesn't work. So, um, this is what the code should look like for the MPEG4 one. Unfortunately, this code doesn't simply copy what is there and just adds the frame packing. For some reason, the file ends up being quite a bit larger. So I don't even know how to fix that part. I just know that this actually gives YouTube a 3D video. If you remove all that extra stuff and you just keep the frame packing equals three. So you can see on screen, it goes from this to this. The one that you saw previously, um, just returns invalid argument when you try to run it through FFmpeg and that means it's not working. But if you have only frame packing equals three, then it works. It's basically what it comes down to. So because for this example, I find that the Matroska leaves your video information completely intact and just adds the metadata, I'm going to be using that one. You can see it uses the C copy um, command, which is basically just telling it, I want everything to be the same, just give me the metadata as well. That's all it does. And of course, it's got the stereo mode and it creates the output file. So what you need to do is you need to just copy this. I'll put the code in the post as well and in the description, you can get it there. So I'm copying that and I'm closing it. Now to open the command window, which is what you need to do to use FFmpeg, you need to click on a blank space here, or not click on a blank space, just uh, on a blank space, control shift, right click, and use open command window. If you just right click, it's not there. So control shift, right click, open command window here. That gives us the command line window open in the folder that we actually need it to be in. It skips going through all the steps to get to the path that you wanna get to. So what we need to do is we need to paste what we had just copied, but we can't use control V. If you press control V, you get this. So what you need to do is you just click right and you say paste. You can see it's there. And when you hit enter, it's going to um, look for the video file because I haven't copied it yet. See what happens. It says no such file or directory. So what we need to do is we need to go get that file quickly. So here we have Moses upload, and we just need to change its file name to input file, input underscore file dot mkv, and do the exact same thing again. And that's it. It's done. So I'm going to close this window. You can see that there's virtually no difference in the file size over here. And I'm going to upload this output file dot mkv. So here we are on the upload screen. So here we have our output. You can see that it's there. So you just click open. Okay. So let's name this one 3D example uh, metadata injected works. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to notify everyone that I just uploaded that. Okay, uh, let's leave the comments. Um, translation, let's make the day today because I actually finished that shot this morning. So let's do that. And let's for the custom thumbnail, just add the anaglyph version. Let's take the color anaglyph one for a custom thumbnail. Okay, so let's wait for it to upload. Okay, that's wonderful, and hit done. So now if you go to watch it, you will see that it's automatically 3D. Now you're not going to see very high quality from mine because I have data limitations, so it's going to play back at maximum 360p, but you, you actually need about 480, 720-ish um, just to, to, to get a nice quality um, 3D example. And there you go. It's truly as simple as that. So I hope you guys managed to get this stuff uploaded correctly and that this video helps you tremendously to get your 3D content online. 
I'm super thankful God helped me um, get this right because uh, working with that H.264 thing drove me up the wall. I really, really, really didn't um, enjoy the process. So I hope this video simplifies it for you and that you are able to upload your videos in a flash. Have a great one and God bless you.